This morning we're going to do a short video on serrated knife sharpening. In this box we have some household Henkel, uh, wood stalls, and one shun, but of course they're not all serrated. So I think there's two in here. And these are some restaurant knives that I do, and there are two in here. I'll get back to you in a minute. Well, let's see, we've got a big, like a bread type serrated knife, lasting cut. And here's one of them cheap ever sharp knives that you buy at Bur uh, Sam's or places like that when they have them specials. And like I said, in here is a, I'll get them out in a minute, it's a bread knife and a tomato knife. So I'll, I'll show you. Cutting boards are important, not only for serrated knives or any kind of knife. This is a new one. It's a really nice cutting board. You can buy them at Williams and Sonoma, Target, places like that. Super. Better than wood. So they claim. A lot of people sharpen serrated knives with a ceramic rod and paper with compound on it. You bend this paper over a hard counter and you run the serrations over the edge. And you cut sharpen the back side of this ready knife with a ceramic rod. There's some videos out there on that if you're interested in it. It works extremely well. It's a, a little bit time consuming but the outcome is well worth the effort. And then you have standby. I clean this up a little bit. Ceramic rods, like anything else, turn gray from the metal shavings. You see I left a little bit on there so you could see it. But you clean them off with a comet or I use a barkeeper's friend. And it cleans all the metal off of them. They get brand new. Same thing with these triangle rods. This was gray as a battleship 10 minutes ago. This is a medium one. I prefer these over, well, let's do these files. Diamond files. Tapered diamond files. This is a fine one. This is a coarse one. Tapered. They're really good for a lot of pocket knives that have different size serrations on them. But these triangle rods, to me, work just as well as these, if not better. But that's just my opinion. You know how that goes. Um, you can sharpen them on belt sanders. You can sharpen them on big uh, 3x8 sharpness stones. Stand by. Anyway, like I said, you can use, you know, water stones. Just use the edge of the water stones. Sharpen them over the edge. You can use a wooden strop, leather strop on wood. Just use the edge right here with compound on it for serrated knives, especially for finishing them. The side of a sanding belt works. You can put a leather belt on a belt grinder. Do the same thing for polishing. There's lots of different ways to sharpen ceramic knives. But like I said, the outcome is sharp. And, you know, that's what it's all about. Ceramic knives get just as sharp as straight bladed knives when sharpened correctly. First we'll use the uh, Wustoff tomato knife, just on a paper cut. That's the way serrated knives are supposed to do it. Here we've got the handle. Here we've got the restaurant called the Lasting Cut. And next we've got that forged Ever sharp piece of junk knife from China. 
in here it's going to be more toothy. But nevertheless, it does okay. Here we have a tomato. Ever sharp. Lasting cut. The hinkle. And the Wustoff tomato knife. It's amazing. Even this piece of crap. Serrated knives get sharp and can stay sharp for a long time. End of the story. Don't be afraid to get them sharpened. Don't be afraid to use them. They're nice knives for lots of applications.